Good morning, family. <clears throat> this is Big Rod uh, on the last leg of the drive with the new baby. We're about to head into Richmond. I'm in Richmond. This is how tired I am. Uh, we're about to head into Houston, Texas. Um, we're in Little Rock, Arkansas right now. Uh, got a good night's sleep. Felt good. You know, ate some steak, went to bed, which is probably not a good advice. But anyway, that's what we did. So we're about to roll into Houston. This is the last leg of the trip, as I said. And so far, so good. I mean, the cars held, held up phenomenally. Now, I will say this. Um, what I've learned, right? Buyer beware. Uh, and it's not a bad thing. It's just a fact. What I've learned is that because this car is a matted white, right? It's that Designo Madino white, cashmere white to be specific. Uh, the paint requires very specific care. Uh, not necessarily, you know, super duper care, but it's just a washing more so aspect of it than anything else, right? So I can't take it to a regular car wash, I've learned, because of the chemicals that are in the uh, washing solutions that are there, right? You can't use the same chemicals on a matic car that you'd use on a um, clear coat car, right? Because it'll damage the mat. Uh, the other thing I've learned is that it is, I don't want to say impossible, but very difficult to touch up a matic car if it gets scratched. Um, there are things out there, products that I've seen online. I'm going to do some more investigating and I'll update this uh, channel uh, when time permits. But I guess it comes with exclusivity, right? I'm not mad at all. It was just a learning lesson. Like anybody who knows me will tell you that I'm a fanatic when it comes to keeping cars clean. Like I wash cars all the time. So it is what it is. But that's the deal. That's us. And we about to roll. I'll hit y'all from the road. Peace.